So today I want to talk about weekly reviews and conducting them inside of Notion. Now, I'm not a huge fan of daily evening reflections because I find that not enough happens in a day, not enough problem solving, not enough highs and lows to really assess where I'm at. Because really a review, what it's doing is clearing out what happened, say for a weekly review in the past week. And what it's doing is prioritizing tasks for the next week. It's helping you figure out the days to come. So when it comes to daily reflections, I just feel it isn't as necessary and isn't as valuable as zooming out to the week. So what I'm gonna do here is show you how you can add a weekly review template inside of maybe a calendar you already have inside of Notion or some other database. Where do you put your weekly review? I suggest putting it inside of your tasks database, the place where you have either most or all of your tasks. And the reason for this is like I said, we are looking into last week's tasks and assessing them and also prioritizing for the next. What we have here is an example schedule. And it's important for me to show you how this example works before we continue. First of all, you see a lot of example tasks. Some of them are complete, some of them are not. So looking at task A, the anatomy of this database is pretty simple. We have a date property, an archive checkbox, and a complete checkbox. Complete is pretty obvious, the task is done. Now archive can have several different definitions depending on the person. For me and this example, it's important to know that archive means an incomplete task from the past that I do not want to push in the future. I don't really know what date to give it, but I do want to keep it on the back burner. That will be inside of that archive list. And I do have another view inside of this database called archived. And simply there is a filter that is archive is checked. And I also have a sort set up for date descending so that the most recently archived task is at the top. Going back to calendar view, let's start creating those weekly reviews. So naturally, you wanna do this on a Sunday. And the first Sunday we have here is the 3rd of January. So I'm just gonna go weekly review. And for me, like I said, I do this every Sunday at 5 p.m. So I can click on that date cell, go to include time, change 12 to five and a.m. to p.m. and press enter. The easiest way to duplicate this entry going down each Sunday is to highlight weekly review, press command D, or if you're on Windows, I believe it's Windows key D. I'm just gonna do that four times. You'll see that they all have 5 p.m., which is nice, but they all have the word copy of before weekly review, which is annoying. So in order to bulk change these titles, I'm going to highlight all of the duplicates right click, go to edit property and name, and just delete that copy of. And that should bulk change all of those titles. And now I'm just gonna drag and drop them into their uh, corresponding Sundays. Now that we have all the weekly reviews set up for the month to come, let's create this weekly review template. To create a new template, you're gonna go to this new button, go to this arrow and click new template. So what we're gonna create here, let's just call it weekly review template. This is gonna be somewhat of a replica of what I use. Give it an emoji, maybe a mushroom, and change it to full width. So I'm going up to the top right hand corner, those three dots, it may be cut off on this recording, but it is the page menu and going to full width. So what I have at the top is a heading called next action. So I'm just gonna go forward slash H2 next actions and below here I have three different to do check boxes so forward slash to do the first one is to assess or review due dates coming soon to see how I'm doing with those the next one going down is to assess last week's incomplete tasks and then to either delete or archive them. Below that, I'm gonna remind myself to also push important and incomplete tasks to next week. Next, what I wanna do is create a window into this schedule inside this page so that I can see 
all of my due dates coming soon and all of my incomplete tasks from last week and all of my important tasks to push to next week. So in order to create this window, I'm gonna create a linked database. I'm gonna go forward slash linked, create linked database to the database we're in, which is example schedule. We have absolutely every entry from this database. We have all these tasks, all of these weekly reviews, the date, complete, and archive. What I wanna do is minimize this a little bit. And I wanna to go to these three dots here, go to filter. First of all, I wanna get rid of these weekly reviews because we don't need to assess these. I'm gonna say where name does not contain weekly review. So now we get rid of those I also want to create another filter where complete is unchecked. The reason for this, again, is because we're assessing all incomplete tasks. The next filter I want to put in here is where the date is within the past week. So I can just say date is within the past week. So now we've filtered this down to exactly what we need to look at. First of all, aesthetically speaking, I do not like how this looks. So I'm gonna grab this database and put it inside of a column over here in this empty space. Naturally, you'd wanna grab this database, right? And just push it over here and create a column. Thing is, you can't do that. So instead, I'm going to click inside of this empty block and drag it over next to next actions to create that second column. Make sure all these checkboxes are under next actions and then drag this database next to next actions. I do not need this complete column because again, we're only assessing incomplete tasks. So let's just hide this. It would be nice to see the date and this archive checkbox for when I want to archive tasks. Just push this over like so. Let's create another view into the next week. So I'm gonna go to add a view table next week. And you'll see that um, this past week configuration turned into the title table view. I'm gonna rename that to last week. We're left with this mess again, so let's start filtering. Just like before, let's add a filter where the name does not contain weekly review. Also where complete is unchecked. And the date is within, not the past week, but the next week. What I wanna do before we go forward is to add some sorts. So I wanna be able to sort these dates descending or ascending actually. And then next week, do the same thing, sort ascending the date. Before we continue, I just wanna let you know, just because we put these database views in here, if I go back to this main page, Calendar view and archive view remain the same, and you're not seeing an addition of new views. So if you are planning on linking a database from another part of your workspace into a template and creating these extra database views, it will not mess with the original. So let's go back to that template. The next thing I wanna do is create a linked view under here. First, I'm gonna create a toggle to hide it, call it archived. And I just wanna assess all of my archive tasks, all of them, and see if I can give them life again into the next week. So let's go forward slash linked database again, find example schedule, make sure archived is the only thing I see and the date. And I'm simply going to say, filter everything that has archive checked. I can also change the color within this toggle to blue, could also do red, kind of pops more. Now after reviewing due dates coming soon and assessing the last week's incomplete tasks and pushing important tasks um, and incomplete tasks to the next week, I can look at archived. I can say, well, it looks like on the 16th I archived this task, but I want to give it some life and I actually want to push it forward to next week to do. So what I'm gonna do is go into date and say, I wanna actually do this on the 27th. It will appear inside of the next week database view, the 27th, task L. And if I want to remove it from archive, I can just uncheck archive and it will also disappear down here. 
In the same way, if I go to the last week database view, I did not finish task 3 on the 20th, but I do want to push it also to the 27th. It will disappear from this view and enter that next week view. The next section I have inside of my weekly review is something called a mental inbox dump. I'm just going to create another heading called H2 mental inbox dump. And this is the journaling aspect. So we're going to look at the week that just passed and all the events that made it up. And I'm going to create two separate columns called the highs and the lows. So forward slash H3 maybe. And let's say highs. I'm going to go command D to duplicate this. And lows. And drag this over as a column. Under highs, I'm going to create some prompts. So the first one, I'm going to go forward slash toggle. And the first thing I'm going to ask myself is what the accomplishment was. What the accomplishment or positive event was. Below this, I'm going to ask myself who or what is to thank. This is sort of like the gratitude section. I can also change this to a toggle. and answer this question within it. The next one down is going to be, when did this happen before? The last question I'm asking myself is, what are the best steps to repeat this accomplishment? Similar to highs, under lows, I'm gonna go forward slash toggle and say, what was the problem? And under here, I'm gonna ask myself, who is there to contact to talk about this problem? The next one's going to be similar to highs. When did this happen before? Also within this toggle, what I wanna do is identify how I solved this problem before. And the last one is going to be, what are the best steps to take to solve the problem? So this is just one high, just one accomplishment from the past week. If I wanna do another, what I wanna do is duplicate all of these prompts. So to create a template button in order to do this, I'm gonna go forward slash template and just configure the template button name to new high. In order to configure this template, I'm gonna click within this toggle we just made. And again, command D to duplicate or Windows key D and just drag it in. Get rid of this to-do box and we should be good. So if I want to go duplicate it, I can just press this button. Let's do the same thing over here for lows. Button name is new low. Duplicate and drag under. All right, now that we have all of this pretty much done, what I have below this are also to-do lists that will help me clear out the last week mentally. For instance, clean the office space, clean desktop files, clean the download folder on my desktop. Also, generally clean, do laundry, take a long walk. All of these are more of self-care to-do lists. That's something I also recommend doing. So what I also have, if you're curious, is at the very bottom, put a divider here, I have a link to my Rome Research Ideas page. And I have a whole video on what I do every morning to generate new ideas. What I'm doing is just grabbing that link and putting it here, and I'll show you how that looks. So I'm just grabbing this link to ideas, coming back over, pasting it and creating a bookmark. What you can also do if you don't know is you can highlight these linked bookmarks Go to color and click a uh, color. For here, I guess I'll do red. So aesthetically speaking, that's a really cool feature in Notion. Below this, I do also have a link to my newsletter. This is my newsletter archive inside of my templates page, just so I can go there really quickly and start writing my newsletter. That's pretty much it. Let's see how this works in action. So going into today, the 24th, which conveniently is a Sunday, I can come into this page and click weekly review template. It will turn automatically into that full width and everything configured will generate down the page. So under next actions, I can start reviewing due dates coming soon and so on. 
I'll see everything from the last week and the next week to start adding some tasks. I can look down at archived, to see if I wanna push anything up to the next week that has been archived far in the past. I can then come down to this Rome research link to my ideas page that can also help me add different due dates to the next week and different tasks. Then I can go down to this mental inbox dump and start recalling all the highs and the lows of last week. If we go back to the calendar, you'll see that weekly review now has that emoji. And um, when I'm done, I can just press complete. One last tidbit, if you are curious on how I arrange my tasks database, I usually do not set hard deadlines for especially content creation. What I tend to do is use date range a lot. I will drag it over to the 27th. So within these three days, the 25th, the 26th, and the 27th, I want to work on this, edit it, and upload it generally. This is really good for me because I'm not very good with hard deadlines. I tend to not respect them, honestly. I have a hard time keeping up and taking myself seriously. If someone else is not giving me this deadline, I probably won't do it. So if you are like me and deadlines aren't super important, um, I do recommend doing this, but don't be too lenient on yourself because discipline is relatively important to getting things done. So I hope this helped um, enhance the database you already have, enhance the Notion workspace you are working in. Also, there will be a Discord link down in the description if you have any more questions that are more specific um, to your personal customization needs. I will be able to answer them there. So yeah, I will see you guys the rest of the week on Twitter. Might be able to put a video in the middle of the week. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm having a really fun time on YouTube. Like, I'm like really, really excited to be making content. Um, I just want to let you know. I see the growth and I'm just so excited about it and the subscribers and it's just like, I know it's not a lot in the grand scheme of, you know, YouTube world, but it's really exciting. So I'll see you guys next time.